Hello, I'm Rod Elmore, and today we're going to talk about uh, figuring out what the basic trig identities are. Now, identity is stronger than an equation because an identity will work for any number you put in it. So we're not solving it for the x because it'll work for every number. So we've got to figure out a way to figure out are these identities or not. They're only identities if that's exactly the same thing as that. It doesn't look like they are. Is this the same thing as this? And so we've got to be able to show that that's true for every value of x. And the only way we can do that is to go back to the definition. Now what's the definition look like? Well, in the and that's the simplest way. So when you've got the basic trig identities, we're actually going to go to the definition. Later on, we're going to verify identities, and then we'll use these to build those. So this will kind of be our base. And uh, your formula sheet shows you all the ones that you have. But we've got to think over here about having a little right triangle, because that's how they're all defined. And so if this is our angle x right here, and then we'll put numbers on these other sides. We'll go A, B, C, kind of our traditional. But now think about how these are defined by the definition in a, terms of A, B, and C. Well, the secant of x, the secant is the reciprocal of the cosine. So we've got to think it's going to be C over B. So we could translate that according to our picture, C over B. And now the cosine of x, what's that? It's the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so that's b over c. And then a little bit of algebra says we could multiply the numerator, or arithmetic really, the numerator and the denominator by c, and then we could end up with, get rid of that complex fraction, we would have c over b. And there it is, this is the same, so those are really two of the very same things just with a different name. Now you've got to do the same over there. So I think you could probably do this. Think about how you're going to do it first. Think about cotangent. What is cotangent by definition? Cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent. So the tangent is opposite over the adjacent. So this would be adjacent over the opposite. So this is going to be b over a. Now think a minute about the cosine. Well, we already did that. The cosine, by definition, is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So this is going to be b over c. And the definition says the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And once again, we have a little complex fraction. If we get rid of the little fractions by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the least common denominator, these cancel, these cancel, so you end up with b over a. So you approve the basic trig identities by using the definition of the trig functions. When you're verifying identities, you don't go back to the definition. You use these to build on that. And so there is a distinct difference there. And so you can try all the other ones, but you'll have some in your uh, video homework to try. So uh, this is kind of nice little simple stuff to do, and it verifies your arithmetic again. I love it. I love that part about the trick. So thank you, and uh, try that video homework.